nearly fell off the bed then. That would have, have been a good start to the video, wouldn't it? Um, right. King Crimson Red, first bit. Um, basically, just this bit. <laughs> easy to play, a bit unconventional but pretty simple. Not sure if my version is correct, probably isn't, especially a couple of the chords which I've had to sort of make up to sound right, roughly right. But um, anyway the opening sequence of notes I'm not actually going to say the numbers and the uh, what string it is to the camera because I've tried to do it and it takes me ages and I just keep getting them wrong. So I'm going to write them out and put them in the comments. I'm also going to do the same for the solo bit. <laughs> it up and I slow it down I just keep forgetting where I am because I'm such a muddled moron so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna again as I say I'm gonna write write the notes out and the strings and put them up put it on the put them in the comments the first sequence of notes that bit there are only four four string things the whole solo is played on three strings I think the whole solo part so basically, then the only bit I'm going to go into here before, before the video too, which I've actually already done yesterday, but I had so many camera problems that it kept, the camera kept stopping all the time. So basically, the only bit you've got to learn is, is learn to play that, these chords. Which are two note chords played on the, on the B the, um, and the G string, put a little bit of vibrato in there. So the first bit is on um, on on the on the on the B and the G string on the on the th both on the three, both on the third fret. You got to go rock back and forth between there and the first fret to create that. The bit, the bit that isn't a part of the chord, is 
place the note above it on the D string, fret two. And you have to bend, so basically, you could probably play it like that, but I bend it. You can probably go up to the, to the fourth fret. I don't. Then move that up two frets. Back. You move it up three frets from the from the original position. Run the E in there. Only with the first first position chord. Just just adds to the. So I'm sitting here playing it on my own. It just adds to the. Gives it a bit of depth. Right. Um, then the next bit is this bit. Now that is, is played on the same B and G string. I don't play it with those two fingers like I do the original chord because I haven't got a rock back and forward between them. You just hold that position so you use the two middle fingers. Play it however you want but I'm pretty sure it's going to be easier with the two middle fingers. And that's on 9, both on the ninth fret and the B and G string. I play it slowly. a little bit of vibrato in it. A little bit of that. Open E. Right. Now that chord... Open E. On the first chord is a one on the G string and a two on the D string. Then slide that all the way up onto the 13 and the 14. So you and add your little finger onto 16 and play it as a chord. Now that's the chord that I've had to make up, but I've seen Blue play a, it's hard to tell on a live live performance. But I've seen him play a similar sort of position where he, it's not even when he's with King Crimson, I think it's when he's with the trio and he sort of picks it, he does this strange little uh, sort of picking, he picks it with his fingers, basically just showing off. But um, I'm pretty sure that's, if that's not the chord, it's roughly it. So actually that, that string there is open. Remember, the B string is open, you've got your little finger on the E, and that is the same position as, as, as the first bit. So basically that finger there is on the, on the G string on 13, and that, and that finger there is on 15 on the string above it. And it creates that. And I think that brings us up to the, the second video, which, which I'll upload. We're still recording. I've had so much trouble with the camera keep conking out. Sometimes it gives me a minute, sometimes it gives me 10 or 11 minutes. It's most frustrating. You will actually hear on video two, I say this is video four. Well, it's not going to be because I've actually sorted out a way of getting my camera to work a little bit better. So it might be a bit confusing, but basically, this is going to be the first video. And I think that brings me up. I don't think there's anything else I've got to say. I've, I did think that this bit might be a bit confusing. It's hard to explain what you're doing. There's a, there's a little bit more going on than meets the eye. Because 
basically you're blocking those two strings, creating like a two string backwards and forwards. And then you've got to go into the bend. Barcelona game, the adverts are on, so you can hear the television, that's just what you can hear. Alright, good luck. <laughs>